Did you know that there are materials that can conduct electricity without any resistance? These materials, called superconductors, have the potential to revolutionize electronics from creating ultra-efficient devices to transporting them via magnetic levitation trains. In this video, we'll explore how superconductors work, their current applications, and what the future holds. Want to know how these innovations can impact your life and the technologies you use daily? So stay with us and discover the future of electronics. Imagine a world where electricity is transmitted without loss, reducing your energy bills and helping the environment. Or maybe you're curious about how medicine and transportation could be transformed by these discoveries. If you've ever wondered how science can improve your daily life and bring new opportunities, this video is for you. Let's dive into the fascinating world of superconductors and understand how they are shaping the future. Superconductors are materials that, when cooled below a certain critical temperature, can conduct electricity without any resistance. This means that unlike normal conductors, such as copper, which lose energy as heat due to resistance, superconductors allow electrical current to flow without energy dissipation. This unique property has profound implications for energy efficiency and technology. One of the most fascinating properties of superconductors is the expulsion of magnetic fields, known as the Meissner effect. When a material enters its superconducting state, it expels all internal magnetic fields, becoming perfectly diamagnetic. This not only demonstrates the absence of electrical resistance, but also allows for applications, such as magnetic levitation, where a superconductor can float above a magnet. Superconductivity was discovered in 1911 by Dutch physicist Heike Kamerling Ons. He observed that mercury, when cooled to a temperature of approximately 4.2 Kelvin to 169 degrees Celsius, lost all electrical resistance. This pioneering discovery paved the way for research into superconductivity, leading to the identification of other superconducting materials and the development of theories to explain the phenomenon. Superconductors can be divided into two main types, low temperature and high temperature. Low temperature superconductors require cooling with liquid helium to temperatures very close to absolute zero. On the other hand, high temperature superconductors can operate at higher temperatures, such as liquid nitrogen, making them more practical and economical for various applications. Understanding superconductors is crucial to harnessing their potential in future technologies. From lossless power generation and transmission to creating powerful magnets for medical and transportation applications, superconductors offer an exciting glimpse of what's to come. Let us now explore the different types of superconductors and their characteristics in more detail. Low temperature superconductors, also known as conventional superconductors, were the first to be discovered. These materials, such as mercury, lead, and niobium, need to be cooled to extremely low temperatures, often using liquid helium, to reach the superconducting state. Despite the challenges associated with cooling, these materials are widely used in applications where the cost and complexity of cooling can be justified, such as in magnetic resonance imaging equipment and particle accelerators. On the other hand, high-temperature superconductors, discovered in the 1980s, operate at relatively higher temperatures, often using liquid nitrogen for cooling. These materials, such as yttrium and barium cuprates, have opened up new possibilities for superconductivity, making it more accessible and practical for a wider range of applications. The ability to operate at higher temperatures significantly reduces cooling costs and operational complexity. High-temperature superconductors are particularly interesting for energy and transportation applications. For example, High-temperature superconducting cables can be used in the power grid to transmit large amounts of electricity with minimal losses, increasing efficiency and reducing operating costs. Furthermore, these materials are fundamental for the development of magnetic levitation trains maglev, which offer fast and efficient transport without the friction and wear of conventional rails. A special category of superconductors are intermediate temperature superconductors, which operate between the temperatures of conventional and high temperature superconductors. These materials are being intensively researched to understand their properties and application potential. The search for superconductors that can operate at even higher temperatures, ideally close to room temperature, continues to be one of the greatest challenges and objectives of superconductivity research. Exploring the different types of superconductors allows us to better understand their applications and potential impact on technology and society. 
Each category of superconductors has its own advantages and challenges, but they all share the promise of revolutionizing the way we use and manage energy. Let's now take a closer look at some of the current applications of superconductors and how they are transforming different industries. One of the most promising applications of superconductors is in the transmission of electrical energy. Superconducting cables can transport electricity with minimal losses, which is a big advantage over traditional copper cables that lose a significant amount of energy in the form of heat due to resistance. In pilot projects around the world, superconducting cables are being used to increase the efficiency of the electrical grid, reducing costs and helping to integrate renewable energy sources. In medicine, superconductors are fundamental in magnetic resonance imaging MRI equipment. These devices use superconducting magnets to generate the strong, stable magnetic fields needed to produce detailed images of the inside of the human body. Superconductivity allows these magnets to work efficiently and with lower energy consumption, improving the quality of medical images and the accuracy of diagnoses. Magnetic levitation, or maglev, trains are another fascinating application of superconductors. These trains use superconducting magnets to levitate and propel the train along the tracks, eliminating mechanical friction and allowing much higher speeds than conventional trains. Countries like Japan and China are at the forefront of developing and implementing maglev trains, promising to revolutionize passenger transport with faster, safer, and more efficient journeys. Superconductors also have applications in energy storage systems, such as Magnetic Energy Storage Systems SMES. These systems use superconductor coils to store electrical energy in the form of magnetic fields. SMES are highly efficient, offering a fast and reliable way to store and release large amounts of energy, which is crucial for stabilizing the electrical grid and integrating intermittent energy sources such as solar and wind. In addition to these applications, superconductors are being explored in a variety of other areas, from high-precision sensors to particle accelerators and communications devices. The versatility of superconductors and their ability to operate efficiently in extreme conditions make them a key technology for advancing science and engineering. Now, let's explore how superconductors could shape the future of electronics and other industries. Superconductors play a crucial role in the development of quantum computing, an emerging area that promises to revolutionize computing. In quantum computers, qubits, the basic units of quantum information, often use superconducting circuits to maintain their quantum states. These circuits allow qubits to operate with stability and efficiency, making it possible to carry out complex calculations that would be unfeasible for classical computers. In addition to quantum computing, superconductors can also transform traditional electronics. Electronic circuits made from superconducting materials can operate at maximum efficiency, drastically reducing power consumption and heating. This could lead to the development of faster, more durable electronic devices with applications ranging from personal computers to large data centers. Another promising area is the creation of superconducting magnets for nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is a clean and virtually inexhaustible source of energy, but controlling fusion reactions requires extremely powerful magnets. Superconductors are ideal for this application, as they can generate intense magnetic fields without heating, making it feasible to confine the plasma necessary for fusion. Success in this field could revolutionize global energy generation. Ongoing research into superconductors is also exploring the possibility of developing materials that operate as superconductors at higher temperatures, ideally close to room temperature. If this is achieved, the applications of superconductors will expand exponentially, making them viable for a wide range of new uses, from portable electronics to large-scale energy infrastructures. The future of superconductors in electronics is extremely promising, with the potential to transform entire industries and significantly improve energy efficiency and technological capability. Research and development in this area continues to advance rapidly, and it is exciting to think about the possibilities that superconductors can bring to our world. Now, let's summarize the main points discussed and conclude our video. Superconductors have the potential to revolutionize electronics, from efficient power transmission to incredible advances in medicine and transportation. If you want to stay up to date with these innovations that can change the world, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Don't miss our next videos where we will continue exploring technologies that will transform our future. 
Leave your comment and share your questions or ideas. We want to hear from you. To the next.